All right. Hello there. I'm going to be doing something different on my YouTube channel today, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to beat an old DOS classic called Bill Elliott's NASCAR Challenge. Now, this game was released on DOS, and it was also released on Nintendo, but I had it on DOS growing up. I played it on an IBM PS1. I also played it on a old Dell Dimension... Uh... Something another P133C Pentium 133 megahertz. Yeah, real beast. Anyway, I don't see too many videos of this game out there on YouTube. Um, and if there are any videos, for the most part, they're usually the uh, NES version, not the DOS version. Um, and if there are the DOS version, it's usually just people screwing around and crashing their car and then going into the instant replay. This game. There's a, there's a good reason for it. It's because this game is ridiculously hard. Uh, I don't know why, I don't know what the developers were thinking, but this game is ridiculously hard. You turn too hard, your car crashes. Uh, if you tap the other car, uh, you might get lucky and you only see a couple sparks pop up. Or, uh, in a lot of cases, you will crash and their car will somehow magically slide past yours so you get in the last place almost every single time. Uh, believe me, i played this game a lot growing up, and I've seen some absolutely stupid things with this game. But, anyway, uh, me and my siblings growing up, this is one of the few games that we had, we found out a way on how to win some races, not all, mostly on road tracks and on Bristol because of how short it is. And the trick to that is just driving straight into the wall. Yes. You will just be pushed along the wall and pushed past all your opponents. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Now, uh, as you can see here, I am setting up the car. I don't really know much about the NASCAR cartoon Driver, type thing, but I've always engine. set the spoiler angle to the lowest for the least amount of resistance, which typically would be the opposite on a road track. You would probably want more resistance so you can stop faster. In this case, we're going to do the complete opposite, and I am just going to drive as fast as possible the first part of the lap is a little difficult, as you can see here. I'm going to have a hard time getting around some of these cars. Uh, but the big thing is, once you get past them, is to just keep driving straight into the wall, and it will push you right past everyone else, including Bill Elliott. And another thing to note is, you know, how I said you crash into other cars, both of you will blow up, and the other opponent will somehow just magically slide right past you so that you end up in last place every single time. Uh, the interesting thing is, with Bill, his car is invincible, no matter what. Uh, I mean, you could drive at him 100%, full speed, your car will explode, and he'll just keep going. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous. Now, on this race, I actually set it up for three laps, just to give myself enough time to make sure I can make it past everyone. For the most part, I can make it past everyone in the first lap, but every once in a while, the AI will choose to be difficult, uh, as usual with old DOS games, and sometimes I won't be able to pass everyone in the first lap. So I set it to three laps here, and I'm going to try like hell. And you will not believe what happens. Well, in the last lap, on the yellow flag, coming around, and sure enough, someone driving the number 22 lime green Mercury Cougar will cut in front of me for no apparent reason, cause me to crash, and oh, look at that. I did not come in last because I was about to overlap this guy, but pretty much last. And as you can see, Bill Elliott is going to get his nice little trophy with the woman and blah blah blah. That's a scene that, if anyone has played this game, has probably seen that picture a lot. So. We are going to try again. I'm going to lower it to two laps this time to make sure the AI doesn't do something stupid like that again. And as you can see right here, I had a run of bad luck and I keep crashing into opponents at the beginning of the race, which is pretty annoying. And that's, like I said, common. This game goes out of its way to try and screw you over. I don't know why, it just does. This game is... I've never beaten this game all the way, and I feel like there must be some sort of secret picture or scene that I've never seen before where you win tournament Driver, mode, and all engine. of a sudden they'll probably show you, like, standing on top of your car and Bill handing you the trophy or something like that. Probably not. It's probably just the, the winner picture. But uh, I, I, I would just love to see what would happen if you win the uh, tournament mode, but... 
Uh, I don't know if I'll ever see that in my lifetime. I don't know, maybe someone in the comments will come around and show me how to beat this game normally. I don't know if anyone ever actually has, though. I mean, this game's pretty, pretty ridiculous. Anyway, here is my winning race. Uh, this one, I had a lot more luck. I was able to get past everyone who was in the first lap, and I was able to make it all the way through two laps, first place. And this is a scene that I haven't seen on YouTube yet. Maybe it is out there. Maybe I haven't been looking hard enough, but you will see the winner screen for a race with the trophy in all of its glory and Bill congratulating you in the corner. Although, I have to say I am a little upset because the trophy that Bill gets has two red stripes behind winner, and our trophy does not have the little two red stripes. I know. Petty, but that's just how I am. Anyway, I hope this helps someone. If anyone's out there actually trying to play this nightmare of a game and they've never been able to win a race, give it a try. Important thing to do, though, is while racing, you may have noticed the temperature gauge slowly keeps creeping up and up and up, and I don't know if there's a way to actually prevent that from going up too high, because you're... I've done a long race on Sears Point before, and your engine... Eventually, the danger light will start flashing, and your engine will overheat and cause your car to break down, and you'll lose. Uh, I... I don't know of any way to lower that, except for stopping in for a pit stop. Maybe there's a way to prevent it some more. I don't know. But, anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I plan to make maybe a couple more videos on Bill Elliott's NASCAR Challenge just because this game was a big part of my childhood. It was ridiculous. I've never actually beaten it. I would love to one day. And uh, maybe I've actually helped someone out there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you have any tips, suggestions? Uh, Want to see me uh, try to accomplish other races? Or maybe even see me try to go into tournament mode? I am down for trying that. Thank you everyone for your time. Enjoy.